hello hello it's another saturday and i am so glad to be with you uh it took me a while to get back to this because you know work be working but um i wanted to share more about those four horsemen so we've gone through the last two actually when we think about the four we think about the last two as um uh what were they they are do you remember what they are this is your quiz moment tell us what are they one two three go all right, so we talked about defensiveness and we talked about stonewalling, right? So today what we're going to do is talk about criticism. And criticism is not the same as uh, giving, uh, making a, a complaint or providing feedback. Um, it's more about um, trying to kind of break down, dismantling your, 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 your partner's um, character, right? So criticism isn't like, Oh, like when you didn't call me, I was afraid that like you weren't going to make it. And I thought that we, we said that we were going to do this. And like, and I'm really kind of, I'm, I'm a little annoyed right now because I expected you to be here. Right. That's not criticism. Criticism is you never think about anyone but yourself. You are selfish. You're not forgetful. If you, if you cared about anyone and anyone, anyone in this household, you'd be here. So that is what criticism looks like. Now, criticism is one of the first, um, of the four horsemen that shows up, right? So this one is problematic, but it's typically one of the first ones that shows up. Um, as we become more and more, more and more daring in our willingness to um, uh, call out our partners, uh, criticism kind of paves the way, right? So uh, that's something to think about. Now, with criticism, uh, what it winds up doing is it kind of erodes the res the relationship by making your partner feel rejected, feel hurt, assaulted, and may it may make them kind of rethink, reevaluate how how much how close they get to you emotionally or even physically, right? So, like, why would I kind of let someone into my heart who's treating me this way? Who calls me dumb, who calls me, well, maybe not dumb, but calls me selfish is the story that we were going with earlier. So, um, and so, and also engaging in criticism will kind of escalate this pattern, like I said before, um, to increase the intensity and the frequency of this bad behavior, which can lead to our next video, contempt. So what you should do instead of criticism Instead of presenting with criticism, the first thing you should do is you should respond with an I statement or I language. And I statements um, basically set you up for going through a pattern that helps a person understand how you are experiencing the, exper uh, the moment and making a request for a change. So um, instead of saying like, you always you know, forget about us, you only care about yourself, you're so selfish, you never show up on time. And as a result, you know, our kids been sitting there for 15 minutes waiting to be picked up at ballet, right? You could say that, or, and that's, that's criticism, but with a gentle and appropriate I statement, you might say, I'm really frustrated today because I expected that you know, our kid would be picked up from ballet on time. Um, I, I thought we had made an agreement that we were going to do that and that you were going to take care of it. And my request is like, if we're going to make agreements like that in the future, let's make sure that we, we both kind of hold to what role we said we'd play in it. Right. So that was a really long uh, statement. So if I had to pare it down and be like, I'm feeling really frustrated and, and concerned that the kid was left at ballet class. Um, when we had made an agreement that you'd go pick her up in the future, if we make an agreement, like, what do I need to do? What do we need to do to make sure that that agreement sticks, right? So I'm collaborating with you. I'm talking about what's going on on my end. I um, am making a specific request. And my request even is, is, is a collaborative request, right? So I'm not saying like, you need to do this better. I'm saying, what can I do to support you? What can we do together to solve this problem so we don't have it anymore? So that is criticism in a nutshell. Look, I'm in a nutshell. So if you have any questions, you're always welcome to be in touch. And I'm hoping that uh, you're having a great Saturday. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.